Captain Charles Chuck Yeager piloted USAF aircraft number 46062, nicknamed Glamorous Glennis for his wife. The airplane was drop launched from the bomb bay of AB-29 and reached Mach 1.06 launch of the X-1 program, attaining 23,000 feet in 90 seconds. The research techniques used for the X-1 program became the pattern for all subsequent X-craft projects. The X-1 project assisted the post-war cooperative union between U.S. military needs, industrial capabilities, and research facilities. The flight data collected by the NACA from the X-1 tests then proved invaluable to further U.S. fighter design throughout the latter half of the 20th century. In 1997, the United States Postal Service issued a 50th anniversary commemorative stamp recognizing the Bell X-16062 aircraft as the first aeronautical vehicle to fly at supersonic speed of approximately Mach 1.06. Later variants of the X-1 were built to test different aspects of supersonic flight. One of these, the X-1A, with Jaeger at the controls, inadvertently demonstrated a very dangerous characteristic of fast supersonic flight, inertia coupling. Only Jaeger's skills as an aviator prevented disaster. Later Mel Apt would lose his life testing the Bell X-2 under similar circumstances. Ordered by the Air Force on 2 April 1948, the X-1A was intended to investigate aerodynamic phenomena at speeds greater than Mach 2 and altitudes greater than 90,000 feet, specifically emphasizing dynamic stability and air loads. Longer and heavier than the original X-1, with a stepped canopy for better vision, the X-1A was powered by the same reaction motor's XLR-11 rocket engine. The aircraft first flew, unpowered, on 14 February 1953 at Edwards AFB, with the first powered flight on 21 February. Both flights were piloted by Bell test pilot Gene, Skip, Ziegler. After NACA started its high-speed testing with the Douglas Skyrocket, culminating in Scott Crossfield achieving Mach 2.005 on 20 November 1953, the Air Force started a series of tests with the X-1A, which the test pilot of the series, Chuck Yeager, named Operation NACA Weep. These culminated on 12 December 1953, when Yeager achieved an altitude of 74,700 feet and a new airspeed record of Mach 2.44. Unlike Crossfield in the Skyrocket, Yeager achieved that in level flight. The aircraft spun out of control, due to the then not yet understood phenomenon of inertia coupling. The X-1A dropped from maximum altitude to 25,000 feet, exposing the pilot to accelerations of as much as 8 grams, during which Jaeger broke the canopy with his helmet before regaining control. On 28 May 1954, Major Arthur W. Murray piloted the X-1A to a new record of 90,440 feet. The aircraft was transferred to NACA during September 1954, and subsequently modified. The X-1A was lost on 8 August 1955, when, while being prepared for launch from the RB-50 mothership, an explosion ruptured the plane's liquid oxygen tank. With the help of crew members on the RB-50, test pilot Joseph A. Walker successfully extricated himself from the plane, which was then jettisoned. Exploding on impact with the desert floor, the X-1A became the first of many early X-planes that would be lost to explosions. It was similar to the X-1A except for having a slightly different wing. The X-1B was used for high-speed research by the U.S. Air Force starting from October 1954, prior to being transferred to the NACA during January 1955. NACA continued to fly the aircraft until January 1958, when cracks in the fuel tanks forced its grounding. A notable achievement was the installation of a system of small reaction rockets used for directional control, making the X-1B the first aircraft to fly with this sophisticated control system, later used in the North American 1015. The X-1C was intended to test armaments and munitions in the high transonic and supersonic flight regimes. It was cancelled while still in the mock-up stage, as the development of transonic and supersonic capable aircraft like the North American F-86 Sabre and the North American F-100 Super Sabre eliminated the need for a dedicated experimental test vehicle. The X-1D was the first of the second generation of supersonic rocket planes. Flown from an EB-50A, it was to be used for heat transfer research. The X-1D was equipped with a new low-pressure fuel system and a slightly increased fuel capacity. On 24 July 1951, with Bell test pilot Gene, Skip, Ziegler at the controls, the X-1D was launched over Rogers Dry Lake, on what was to become the only successful flight of its career. The unpowered glide was completed after a nine-minute descent, but upon landing, the nose landing gear failed and the aircraft slid ungracefully to a stop. 
repairs took several weeks to complete and a second flight was scheduled for mid-August. On the 22nd of August 1951, the X-1D was lost in a fuel explosion during preparations for the first powered flight. The aircraft was destroyed upon impact after it was jettisoned from its EB-50A mothership. The X-1E was the result of a reconstruction of the X-12, in order to pursue the goals originally set for the X-1D and X-13, both lost by explosions during 1951. The cause of the mysterious explosions was finally traced to the use of Ulmer leather gaskets impregnated with tricresyl phosphate, a leather treatment, which was used in the liquid oxygen plumbing. This mistake cost two lives, caused injuries and lost several aircraft. The changes included, a turbopump fuel feed system, which eliminated the high-pressure nitrogen fuel system used in 062 and 063. Concerns about metal fatigue in the nitrogen fuel system resulted in the grounding of the X-12 after its 54th flight in its original configuration. A re-profiled super-thin wing, based on the X-3 stiletto wing profile, enabling the X-1E to reach Mach 2. The addition of 200 pressure ports for aerodynamic data, and 343 strain gauges to measure structural loads and aerodynamic heating along the wing and fuselage. The X-1E first flew on 15 December 1955, a glide flight controlled by USAF test pilot Joe Walker. Walker left the X-1E program during 1958, after 21 flights, attaining a maximum speed of Mach 2.21. NACA research pilot John B. McKay took his place during September 1958, completing five flights in pursuit of Mach 3 before the X-1E was permanently grounded after its 26th flight, during November 1958, due to the discovery of structural cracks in the fuel tank wall.